Welcome to another cybersecurity related video. Uh, today we're gonna try to find our way inside Derp and Stink, which is another vulnerable virtual machine from Vulnhub. So the purpose of this machine is to get the four flags, uh, which will eventually take you to full root access. So, um, before I start, I gotta say that uh, I learned a lot uh, from owning this machine and uh, it's not like a beginner as they say it is, it is more like a beginner towards intermediate, but uh, you'll probably judge that yourself. So uh, another thing that I want to say is that I may divide this into two or three part or a multi-part video series because uh, in this video I'll probably only focus on getting inside the server and in the next uh, one or more videos uh, we'll probably try to find a way so we'll work on escalating our privileges to root. Alright so that being said let's begin. First we're gonna do a net discover to see the IP of our vulnerable machine. So this is the IP uh, and I'm actually using a bridged connection for both my Kali and uh, the vulnerable machine. Right, so now we have the IP, let's do a quick nmap. So the first nmap that I usually do is the SV uh, to get a basic understanding of what services run on the machine and then um, after this finishes and I start working um, on some of the paths um, I start another more thorough uh, more thorough nmap scan uh, and sometimes uh, in fact most times uh, that type of uh, long scan is not necessary but sometimes it is anyway so 192.168.0.102 and this is actually a very quick scan so we have 21 22 and 80 so the first thing we're gonna do is to head over to 192.168.0.102 all right, now nothing fancy on this uh, landing page. Um, and I tried to view the source by right clicking and I wasn't able to, to find the spot where to actually um, click on view source. So this is what you should do if that doesn't work. So view source, okay. And uh, meanwhile, we could, let's open up another terminal, we could start derbusting to actually brute force uh, for files and folders within the web directory. So derb, derb or derbuster 192.168.0.102 and we're actually gonna use the big text uh, word list. So user share word lists. Uh, derb and big.txt. By default it uses the common.txt which is about uh, 4,000 words I guess but this one is like 20,000 words. So let's start that. Um, make sure it it runs. Okay so 20,000 words. Set it in the background. Let's see what we have here. So we have web notes info.txt. Make sure you update your. So um, I'm not sure if I mentioned at the beginning, but I already did this. And like I said, I learned a lot from it. So um, anyway, make sure to update your host file with local DNS so the new Derp and Stink blog can be reached before it goes live. Okay, we'll keep that in mind. And uh, I saw that this is uh, 
this uh, source contains multiple uh, multiple lines and if you scroll down you can see you have your first flag over here so that was relatively easy now let's go to downloads um, uh, Volhub and derp okay let's uh, let's try to put everything down as we so the information that we find to write it down because this is very helpful and you should always do this if you're into security related projects or um, you're doing some sort of analysis always write things down so let's write down our first flag Okay, control S. Let's see what Derb is telling us. So we can see we have a PHP, we have the robots.txt. So let's see 192.168.0102. Robots.txt. Disallow PHP and temporary. So let's go to PHP. We can go there, temporary, try harder, nothing in here. Okay, what else? So we have PHP my admin. Oh, so it looks like we have a WordPress blog over here. Now let's try to go to, so it's at WeBlog. Let's copy link address or address and go to okay so remember what it said here make sure to update your host file with the local DNS so the new derp stink block can be reached before it goes live so we see a redirect here so we we asked for WP login so let's try that one more time 192.168.0.102 we blog and it redirects us to derp and stink local we blog so uh, what you need to do in this case to be uh, able to access this uh, this resource is to modify your etsy host file so let's go to nano etsy hosts and over here we're gonna add 192.168.0.102 and we want it uh, to point out to derp and stink dot local okay control o to save it enter and control x to quit now let's refresh this okay so right now we can access uh, we can access the wordpress blog so at this point um, we probably want to get inside the administrator panel and for this purpose uh, the first tool we're going to use is WP scan and we're going to go to um, just HTTP 192.168.0.102 we blog see if that works yes so it actually tries this one and the redirection since we added it to Etsy host uh, works okay so uh, there's there's quite a few things uh, to notice in this scan and the first one that caught my attention was one about arbitrary file upload let me see if uh, remote local host and it was uh, a critical one yep so this one slideshow gallery arbitrary file upload okay so we'll keep that in mind as well and let's try to enumerate the users so enumerate you okay so uh, we'll just uh, URL, specify that, 
let's say yes again and it'll do the same thing like it did before but this time with the addition of enumerating the users okay so we have uncle stinky and admin now at this point there are multiple vectors so we can see that a derb is still running so at this point there might be multiple vectors of attack first thing which is really dumb and um, you'd be shocked but uh, way too many people still use poor credentials and um, so poor passwords in their login information um, and that kind of uh, explains the the breaches of security and uh, uh, the the news about uh, big breaches big data breaches uh, that we are dealing with every day and uh, one of them uh, over so one like relevant example from the last few days was about uh, one of the most um, one of the most watched videos on YouTube, which was about 5 billion, which had about 5 billion views and um, probably malicious users uh, got access into the, um, the account of those, uh, of those who had the video uploaded it and they deleted that, uh, that, uh, that video. So my assumption is that they had poor credentials or they might have been infected with a keylogger or something and um, that's how the breach happened and that sucks honestly anyway so uh there are multiple vectors over here you, you'd first want to try default credentials so for the admin we could find uh, uh, we could try it and this is what i usually do so i use admin 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 one two three four admin one two three and all that stuff um second you could try brute forcing your way in with hydra so um you'd use hydra to brute force the login panel at uh, wp login.php that's another vector a third vector would be to look through these um, and try to find uh, something that could be potentially exploited. Um, so these are only three vectors, uh, but I'm really sure that some of you might find even more. Anyway, we'll just go with the first one, the dummy credentials. So um, I already did this and Lo and behold, admin admin actually takes you to um, a dashboard, which is actually not the admin dashboard because in the WordPress, uh, uh, the admin dashboard uh, has much more options over here in the side panel, but this is good enough to go. So remember the slideshow thing from, uh, from WP scan so we have arbitrary file upload so when i saw this i thought well um if this is what i think it is um so this plugin allows you to um add slides or images to to the wordpress blog and uh it says over here so let's go to uh try to let's say add new um chose your so this is where we actually upload the image chose your image file from your computer jpeg png gif are supported they say are supported but it doesn't uh so the first thing you should try to do is when you are in front of a situation like this is to try and see if you can upload a file of a different type other than an image that's what i usually do so the first thing that i that i do is to try to upload a basic php shell and um, thereafter if it doesn't work i try to manipulate that php shell to uh, uh, turn it into dot php dot png or something like that 
and we might be confronted with that in another video so you will see exactly what I'm talking about but here um, lo and behold we can upload a PHP shell so I'm gonna upload this one but first uh, I gotta make sure that um, it points out to my local IP so let's see what's my if config eth0 so mine is 0104 now let's go to um, our folder so it was derp let's see what's inside the reverse shell so 104 and my IP is 0104 so let's modify that So with 0104, let's control O, enter, control X, save it. So right now it points to my IP and on port 449. All right, so let's set up a netcat listener on port 449. And now just upload the shell over here. So let's let's give it a title. Let's say info and uh, I think we're good to go so save slide and it says slide has been saved so this is the slide and as we can see below over here so as you can read derp and stink local we blog WP content upload slideshow gallery so that's the actual path to the PHP shell so I'm going to copy that link location and then uh, I'm going to open it up so that we can execute it. So over here and we have our listener. At this point we could stop the Durbuster, minimize it because I think this is a good vector of attack. Minimize this. Okay, so it was executed okay that's weird so let's see that one more time I'm not sure when it got executed but it got executed it was probably when I uploaded it maybe anyway let's just quit and set the listener again okay so we have the listener and now let's try to so it's listening and now we're executing it okay and we should have a shell okay so as you can see we are inside the server so uname minus a at this point with one uh, um, like escape from that shell so import we're gonna use Python and import the PTI library PTI spawn and we're gonna spawn a bin bash shell okay so we've spawned a bin bash shell now at this point who am I I'm dub 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 data so we are inside the server uh, next we're gonna let's see what's inside this directory okay uh, so next uh, we're going to try to find vectors to escalate our privileges from uh, dub 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 data to um, to root and eventually get the get the rest of the flags so um, okay i guess that's it for this video we'll stop here and uh, will continue in the next one so if you enjoyed this video and you'd like more cybersecurity related videos uh, you'd like to see more of them on this on my on my channel uh, please let me know in either of the comment sections below if you enjoyed this one hit the like and subscribe and uh, thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next one